All right guys, this is gonna be a two minute Tuesday tip on how to render pretty much in real time and high quality using NVIDIA's DLSS and DLAA, which stands for Deep Learning Anti-Aliasing. This tip was brought to me by JS Films. I'll leave a link in the description for his page. Go check him out. He's got a bunch of helpful Unreal Engine tutorials. First thing you're gonna do is go to the marketplace and in here you'll type in DLSS and then you'll go to NVIDIA DLSS, go to the external link to their page. From here, click on I agree, and then you're gonna download the version for your engine. I'm doing 5.1. Once you extract it, you will see three folders in here, DLSS, DLSS Movie Pipeline, and NIS. Copy those three, go to your C drive, program files, Epic Games, Go to the 5.1 or whichever engine you downloaded the plugin for, and go to the engine folder, then go to plugins. Paste those three folders in here. You can see I already have them, DLSS, DLSS Movie Pipeline Support, and NIS. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and open up your project. From here, you will go to Edit Plugins, type in DLSS, check both of these boxes, Movie Render Queue and NVIDIA DLSS. If you don't have Movie Render Queue, you also want to enable that. And another tip, also, you may want to enable Apple ProRes Media so you can export in ProRes. Once you've done that, restart your engine, come back into your project. You should have a sequence. Once you have a sequence loaded, go to your Render Queue, Movie Render Queue, and then go to your Settings, from here, you want to go to settings and add DLSS DLAA. Where is it? Oh, I already have it here. Let me remove it. There it is, DLSS DLAA. Select that. I'm doing ProRes here, but once you go in here, you may want to change this to ultra or, or high quality. I don't know if that really affects this because it grays out once you check DLAA. So make sure you have DLAA checked. Another thing you may want to do is set your screen percentage to 100 here. And then just create a, a new folder. I'm just going to do DLAA. Let's accept and we're going to render here. Watch how fast this renders. is literally rendering in real time and the quality looks pretty good I'm just doing HD here but you should be able to do 4k if you want to so go try this and do your own test uh, test the traditional anti-aliasing with 64 uh, that probably would have took me closer to an hour with 2552 frames versus the two minutes that DLAA is doing DLAA looks pretty good. So I'll be doing some further tests later on comparing the quality between the two. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys that tip. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.